When you think of issues with planes, you think of getting stuck in a middle seat or maybe even your flight gets delayed. Now what if you looked out the window and saw gas spewing all over the entire plane while you were in it? Today we're looking at the top 10 most dangerous flights in the world. Number 10. Starting things off at number 10 is one of those stories that makes you just wonder, what are the odds? The 2006 thriller movie Snakes on a Plane turned into a reality as passengers on board a flight in Mexico spotted a peculiar passenger in the overhead storage area of the plane's cabin. A 5 foot venomous green viper somehow made its way onto the plane, terrifying the passengers on board. The worst part? The plane was actively in flight. Passengers were trapped in a metal tube, hurling through the sky at hundreds of miles per hour with a deadly reptile. According to witnesses, the snake hung from the overhead storage area before dropping to the seats and floor of the cabin. Luckily, nobody, including the snake, was injured in the process. The flight attendants notified the pilot who requested an emergency landing at the flight's destination. Once grounded, passengers exited while the crew secured the adventurous reptile. In a statement from the airliner, it is still unknown just how the snake boarded this plane. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane! Number 9. In March of 2018, a crazy storm rode along the east coast of North America, bringing heavy rain, snow, and winds along with it. Not the ideal weather to be flying in. While hundreds of flights set in the area were cancelled due to the storm, a few which were destined for intense turbulence were not. One particular flight was set to land at the Washington Doolis International Airport in Washington, D.C. Unfortunately for the pilots and passengers alike, the descent into landing caused extreme turbulence, which led to motion sickness for almost everyone on board. To call this a flight from hell is quite the understatement. Even the pilot's logs read, pretty much everyone on the plane threw up, even the pilots were on the verge of throwing up themselves. Number 8. You ever see those Final Destination movies? You know where the characters have visions of something terribly fatal happening soon before it actually does? Well that's exactly what happened to this newlywed couple who were on board a flight to their honeymoon destination. While United Airlines was preparing the plane for takeoff, it seems that the crew wasn't paying enough attention. Passengers Mike and his wife Rachel were actually the ones who alerted the crew that the wing of the plane was spewing jet fuel all over the place. Of course, the flight was immediately cancelled, but the madness doesn't stop there. According to the couple, United Airlines pre praised them for ensuring the safety of the plane and its passengers, then promised to take good care of them. In reality, the couple claims that they were offered a measly food voucher, not even compensated for their missed reservations, and on top of that, they were forced to sleep on the floor of the Newark International Airport. This story does have a mostly happy ending though. Good Samaritans who were also on board the flight thanked the two heroes and offered them a hotel and limo services to express their gratitude. Number 7. Traveling to Miami is all fun and games until an alligator decides to show up. The story starts off pretty normal, a smooth flight set for the Miami International Airport is coming to an end. As the plane is finishing up the landing process, the flight attendant prepares her post-flight announcement when suddenly the plane slams into a 12-foot alligator which found its way onto the runway. Panic quickly ensued as the front nose gear of the plane hit the alligator causing the front tires to blow out and the wheel assembly to completely break off. As you can imagine, passengers were terrified assuming that their flight had crashed. Luckily, with its nose digging into the runway, the plane skidded for about 100 yards before safely coming to a stop. It's at that point that the flight attendant said over the intercom, Welcome to Florida, mind your step. Number 6. If you've ever been on a plane, you'll know that one of the worst common occurrences is turbulence. But I'm willing to bet that you've never seen turbulence quite as bad as this. A flight destined for Malaysia was forced to return to its origin in Australia after a critical engine failure left the stability of the plane in shambles. Just an hour and a half into its journey, the captain was forced to turn the plane around for an emergency landing back where it departed from. Passengers compared the violent shaking to that of an unstable washing machine. To add on to what was already terrifying experience, the captain of the flight told passengers passengers to say a prayer and that their survival would depend on their cooperation. Luckily, the plane made a safe landing back where it started. I just hope that the passengers were all compensated well. Imagine spending three hours in the air, terrified for your life, and not even making it to your destination. Number 5. If you haven't yet noticed, severe weather and airplanes just don't mix. So as you can imagine, a massive hailstorm posed a significant threat to a flight on its way to Phoenix, Arizona from San Antonio, Texas. What would typically be an easy 2-3 to three hour flight quickly took a turn for the worst as a severe thunderstorm rolled into the flight's path. Unfortunately for the passengers of the plane, this storm carried out a lot of hail and it wrecked havoc on the front end of the plane. Passengers described this as one of the worst flights of their lives. Sickening turbulence had many of the passengers puking while 
while others held on for their lives, hoping that they would make it to the ground safely. Meanwhile, in the cockpit, things weren't all much better. According to the captain of the American Airlines flight, visibility was dangerously low as the entire windshield of the plane had been demolished by hail. Despite the odds, the crew managed to land the plane safely. Once on the ground, they were able to see just how much damage was done. The entire nose of the plane had been caved in and dents and paint scratches were all over the rest of the plane. Number 4. A plane carrying 163 passengers had to make an immediate return landing after a nerve-wracking problem was discovered with the cabin of the plane. According to the flight attendants, passengers began to report a pain in their ears accompanied by a windy sound just an hour into their flight. Ear pain is typically a sign of low cabin pressure, which is caused by the lack of oxygen inside of a plane. On top of that, reports of a windy sound and curtains flowing in the air led passengers to suspect that the plane door had not been fully sealed, and right they were. Aerophobia is described as an abnormal or persistent consistent fear of flying, but I'm pretty sure that anybody would be terrified to be in this situation. Number 3 it isn't normal for the human brain to expect the tiniest piece of a puzzle to a plane would completely ruin your flight, and the situation seems even more grim when you see the problem whiz by you. A passenger reported that he was enjoying his peaceful flight when he heard a pop noise and saw that a screw had broken loose from the propeller and busted through the outer pane of his cabin window. Despite this, the pilot said that the flight will enjoy a safe landing due to the cabin being pressurized. But that didn't stop the passengers from hounding the scene with their phones and snapping pictures. Can you blame them though? That's a pretty close call. Number 2 we all know that the two scariest times for passengers during a flight is a takeoff and landing. This of course is just as daunting to the pilots. That said, if these two situations were to ever coincide with each other, you'll see a situation similar to what happened in Newark, New Jersey in 2014. Two planes were less than just 400 feet vertically and 150 feet horizontally apart from each other, leading to a few moments of panic amongst the pilots. This too close for comfort distance could have easily been avoided if the plane taking off had done so when reported that it was ready for for takeoff, which is when the plane in air would have been three miles away. One of the pilots could only manage to describe it as real close, but I would have loved to hear what a passenger of the flight had to say if they were aware of the situation. Number one. In April of 2018, a Southwest Airlines customer was blown out of her seat when an engine blew and shattered her cabin window. It was said that the fan blade suffered metal fatigue, which ultimately led to the engine's destruction. Although our hearts are heavy for her family's loss, this incident resulted in a total recall where a major flaw was discovered in the cabin decompression mechanism of the entire Boeing 737 fleet. This being the first loss of life through airlines in the United States since 2009, and was also what got the Boeing crew to get their stuff together and ensure the safety of all future passengers. Let us know in the comments below which one you thought was the scariest. Also be sure to like and subscribe as we are always uploading new content every week.